Good morning, my name is Cheng Wan Ling. I am from Section 40, Group 4. Today, I will present about the interview project. This is my interview information. Her name is Li Qing Yi. She is 21 years old. She is the student in UMS, which is taking the hotel management course. She is very friendly, nice, and also kind. Because when I asked her whether can let me interview her or not, she just replied me sure. She don't reject me. For the next is summary for the interview project. We separate the question to the basic question and also the specific question. The basic question is the simple questions for the air pollution issue and the specific question will be more complicated a bit. So from the basic question, we can know that the air pollution is a serious issue that should be paid attention by everyone. Most of the modern countries have the air pollution problem. We know that the awareness for the people is very weak because nowadays, every people is busy for their work and also their education and she don't think the air pollution issue will affect them and also is they are responsible. So from the specific question, every person in this world should be tagged responsible for this issue because we're living in the earth and we have the responsible to take care for our earth. We know that the major cause of the air pollution is the factory and also the vehicle. If the issue become more serious and serious, will be affect our normal life and also our healthy. Because the air pollution will cause the disease, as especially for the person who has the asthma. So not only the government have to take the action, but also including the business and industry, as well as the NGO also. So government should take some action like set a rule or give some punishments to the person make the air pollution become more worse. So not only government have take some action, public also should take some action. They can reduce the use of air conditioner or share the transportation together as well as they also can conduct the CSR project also. For the snack is the self-reflection. So before start the interview, I feel very tension because this is my first time interview person with a very serious condition and also fully is English language. So before start, I check the record system. I test for the output video whether have the clearly sounds and again and clearly image or not. So during the interview the process is going on very smoothly. My friend is very nice and she answered my question very well also. I thought during the process I will stammer. But in fact, the process is very well and I am not stammer. I asked a question and my friends will answer questions. So after the process, I am very grateful to my friend to let me interview her. After the project, she tell me if the problem, if the, she tells me if the video got any problem like lagging or the sound is not clear, I can re-interview her again. I check the video and make sure all of the video is clear. After the interview, and I was realized because I'm afraid I can't do it well. By the way, the everything is going on very well. So this is my presentation. Thank you. My name is Dai Tim Ling and I am one of the students from Section 40, Group 4 of the course of Oral Communication in English. I am the Year 1 student and I am major in International Business Program. Previously, I have interviewed my friend which is stay at Dawal and the interview topic is about environmental. In this video, I am going to present the interview that I have done and provide my self-reflection towards this interview session. The interviewee is my friend. 
His name is Chang Yu Song and he is one of the students in UMS also. He is 22 years old, one year older than me. He is a very kind person so that's why I asked him to do me a favor and in exchange, I also helped him in his interview like I am the interviewee in his interview section. We do the interview at night because we both have lecture in morning and evening. The duration of the interview process is about 5 minutes. From the interview section, we can know that the air pollution has become more serious nowadays. There are many factors cause the air pollution. Some of the factors are the businesses and industries. Other than that, air pollution can also cause by the car emissions or the open burning from the nearby country. For example, the open burning from Indonesia. Everyone should be responsible to the air pollution in order to reduce the air pollution which is become more serious day after day. If the air pollution is out of control, the impact for the human is the face mask will be the necessity in our life. We need to wear it every day. The importance that everyone should be responsible in tackling air pollution is so that the living things such as human or animals and the environment can be guaranteed and last longer. In addition, it is very significant because the air pollution can affect our human health also. I am so happy to finish my interview section with my friend. I really thanks to him for helping me this favor. I really appreciate it. This is my very first time using English to have a conversation with my friend. Honestly, I am totally nervous during the interview but my friend encouraged me and this made me become more confident. Before the interview start, we do the rehearsal to make sure everything is going as we want. Luckily, the interview session is doing fine as we thought and we end it successfully. From this interview session, I realized that the air pollution is getting more serious nowadays. And I also agree with my friend that everyone should be responsible to the air pollution, since we humans need to breathe the air to live. Other than that, the factors that cause the air pollution is the businesses and industries, car emissions or the open burning from a nearby country or in our country. These activities will be the biggest factors that cause the air pollution become more serious and the government should take actions to overcome these problems. In addition, I have learned the ways to pronounce the words in a proper way. I also faced some difficulties in this interview section. For example, we were disturbing by the background noise since we do the interview in our house, respectively. In conclusion, I think we should do our best to reduce the air pollution because it also affects our health. We should always be aware to the pollution because if we live in a pollution environment, we will get sick easily such as lung cancer and heart disease. Microscopy pollutants in the air can slip past our body's defenses penetrating deep into our respiratory and circulatory system, damaging our lungs, heart, and brain. That's all from me. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Karen Chong Xiaowei and my matrix number is BB20110286. Today, I would like to talk about the interview process, summary, self-reflection, and conclusion for the oral communication project. The first one is the interview process. On 28th of May 2021, which is Friday, I was asking one of my friends, Irene Mandolin Sylvester Dooley, if I can interview her during my interview project and she immediately agreed with it. On 29th of May 2021, which is Sunday, we conducted a rehearsal to do some practices and make sure all the displays function well before the interview session started. After everything was done, I started to interview my friend through a virtual platform which is Google Meet. It is because I was unable to conduct a face-to-face -face interview session with her due to the pandemic of COVID-19. I have also prepared a list of basic questions and specific questions to interview her about air pollution. Next is the summary. From this interview session, 
it has clearly shown that there are some causes of air pollution. It is because my respondents say that release of gases by factories and vehicles is the main reason why air pollution is getting serious day by day. The gases they are released by smokers also cause air pollution. Besides, she also say that air pollution can impact our health like heart diseases, cancer, and difficulty breathing. Air pollution can affect human activity, animals, and plants. In addition, she say that there are some ways to reduce air pollution in which the industry should optimize their factory operations. Everyone should reduce open burning, increase the use of public transportation, and practice carpool. Therefore, it is important to reduce the air pollution because all of us need fresh air to breathe. Next is self-reflection. This interview has made me know more about the importance of reducing air pollution. Besides, I feel very nervous and excited because it was my first experience using fully English to communicate with my friends and I had never conducted any formal interview with everyone before. I also worried about the ways to pronounce the words properly. Not only that, I am also very grateful to my friend for having helped, encouraged and motivated me to make this interview successfully as well as increase my confidence level. The last one is a conclusion. In conclusion, we know that air pollution can cause serious problems if people do not take immediate steps to control it. Therefore, everyone has a responsibility to take care of the environment and be aware of the air pollution issue. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Katie. Um, when I know that um, my assignment is about interview people some question, I am very stressed out and excited because I never do this before. I'm worried about not doing well. For first, I discuss with my group friend, which is Wan Ling, Ting Ling, Yixian, and Karen about the question that we need to ask the interviewee. However, we encountered some problem. That is, uh, our question is not specific enough. Uh, we try to change a few times and finally reach the standard. And I want to say thank you for Madam that said it many times for us until we success. Uh, create the question. When I was asked the interviewee, I feel very nervous because uh, we have not been in contact for more than a year and she cannot speak Chinese for me so the challenging has increased. I choose her as my interviewee is because I know that for answering my question, she has no problem with her English level and she is very good and kind. When she answered my questions, I found that she can speak very fast and some words I cannot get it at that time. I need to review the recording to catch the answer and do the transcription. Um, besides that, when I ask the question about do you think your country has air pollution, I need to repeat two times to make it clear, but um, there is no problem with other issues. For her opinion about the air pollution, she thinks that the air pollution is harmful pollution that could give a bad effect to the world and to us live in the world and is really affected in our daily life. Uh, not only that, she also, think air pollution is a part of environmental degradation. For solving this 
problem, she thinks the government can give a penalty and punish the uncontrolled firm from Festory and Norris so that the pollution can be reduced. After this experience, I feel that doing the survey is very interesting because we can know some idea with that interview provide and I become more confident with my English language. On a more relevant note, I am very thankful for her to doing the survey with me. Not only that, I am also very grateful to my teammate cooperation. Lastly, I hope that everyone is stay healthy in this pandemic and we can meet in when we at campus. Thank you. Hello, my name is Pinisian. Today I'm going to present my final project. First of all, I will talk about the interview process. Before conducting the interview, the first thing I do is to look for a suitable respondent. After I found a suitable respondent, I brief about the whole interview project to the respondent then we discuss and confirm a time to conduct the interview. During the interview session, we face technical and conductivity issue. Fortunately, it has been successfully resolved and I have asked my respondent about 10 basic questions and 9 specific questions. After conducting the interview, I thank my respondent for accepting my interview and ask the respondent to sign the consent form. Next, I will proceed to the summary part. Based on my respondent understanding, air pollution is one of the environmental problems that people should take seriously. The cause of air pollution is due to the release of pollutant into the air. The impact of air pollution is it will cause health problems such as coughing and difficulty breathing. Besides that, it will also lead to environmental effects such as global climate change, ozone depletion, and smoke. Based on her knowledge, the way to reduce air pollution are such as prioritizing walking, cycling, and public transport over the urban areas, signing a car sharing plan, reducing public incineration, and creating green space in city to help remove some pollutants. She thinks that people in Malaysia are not sufficiently aware of air pollution because there are still many people who still maintain an attitude like it's not their business to air pollution. The way to improve the awareness of air pollution are serve tough knowledge about air pollution and discuss air pollution with people around them because instead of covering up the problem, casting can make things clearer, improve their awareness and make them no longer acting alone. Lastly, I will proceed to my self-reflection about this project. Through this project, I found that conducting online interview is quite challenging. This is because unexpected issues often occur during the interview, such as unstable network connection, various technical problems, and so on. Through this project, I also have the opportunity to practice my pronunciation and learn more vocabulary because we are using English as the main language to conduct the interview session. Before starting the interview, I keep practicing my pronunciation to avoid any misunderstanding during the interview session. In addition, Good communication skills are essential to let others understand what are we talking about and poor communication skills can lead to misunderstanding. Therefore, it is a good opportunity to improve my communication skills by asking and talking with my respondent during the interview. Moreover, confidence will enable us to communicate in a more effective way. In order to ensure that the interview process can proceed smoothly, I have tried to remember all the questions and practice a lot to improve my confidence level to make myself perform better in the interview process. Through this final project, I've, I really learned a lot about the knowledge of air pollution and this knowledge and skill will be useful in my future life. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention.